guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to, oh my goodness, the first merch for 1989 Taylor's version. The first official merch drop has happened. Now, I do want to apologize in advance if it's very echoey. I'm still in the process of moving into my apartment, getting settled. Um, a lot is done, but it's still like, you know. So I apologize for the weird lighting. I have a weird tripod situation going on right now. Um, I'm sorry if it's also like echoey. I don't mean for it to be. Maybe it's not, maybe it's just in my head like it sounds really echoey. Anyways, I wanted to film this video because I wanted to share my excitement. And I personally, I love merch drops. Like it gives me so much serotonin. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what they think and tell you guys my opinions because it was so wishy-washy like who liked the collection who didn't people were saying it was pricey i do agree with that um but some people were like this is a really ugly merch collection and then some people were like no actually like this is adorable like this is one of my favorite merch drops for like the core drops for one of like the re-recordings and I'm in that boat. I personally loved it so much and <laughs> my birthday is October 9th so I really just said happy birthday to me. So the first thing is the pink 1989 Taylor's version crew neck. I am obsessed with crew necks. If you guys know me you know I am obsessed with crew necks. I go after the crew necks first. That and Taylor baby tees are my absolute favorite. Um, it just says Taylor Swift across the front, and then on the back it has like 1989, it has the album cover, and then the alternate covers at the bottom, and it is so perfect. I bought this one. I bought it a size up because the last time I ordered a Taylor crew neck, it was like fitted weird at the bottom, so I wanted it to be a little bigger, so I went ahead and sized up on this just because, um, and I like my crew necks oversized anyway, so it really didn't like bother me. So, then we have a revamped 1989 Taylor's version Seagull crew neck, and this is $75, which is very, very pricey um, in my eyes, and it was not my favorite. I have the original one that's like the album cover for 1989, and I love her. She has white sleeves, and then she's kind of like blocked here, and then it's blue with seagulls, and I much prefer the original. However, for nostalgia purposes, I was very much like, oh my god, I love that they recreated the seagull crew neck. And I don't know, it just wasn't my favorite. I couldn't see myself like wearing this, so I did pass on this. However, I they get points for the nostalgia, and they absolutely get points for like the seagull design. I just wasn't like digging like the top. It was just me though. Um, the next one. The 1989 Taylor's version beige crew neck. Now, it has like a little Polaroid of one of the other covers on the front and it just says 1989 Taylor's version. And then on the back it has a little seagull. So I'm still getting that seagull touch, but I did buy this one. And a lot of these don't ship until December, so I won't be wearing these for a bit, but I'm so excited for them to come. So then a 1989 blue tie-dye hoodie came out and it was just very simple. Um, I did like it. I just, I liked the crew necks more. So I decided that I was going to personally spend my money on the crew necks. I usually don't go for tie-dye, but I did like this hoodie and I liked the simplicity of it because, you know, some people don't want like merch that has like, you know, that's so noticeable. Some people like more subtle merch. So I totally get that. I think that was a good piece to add. Um, let's see. The pink jogger sweatpants to match the crew neck, I did not personally buy. Now let me tell you why. First of all, these are adorable. I do love these, but I am not a fan of pants that cuff at the bottom. Like, I cannot stand that. I think it is like so uncomfortable and I hate when you lay down how sometimes like it rides up. I am just not, it, they don't vibe with me. I'm short and I can never get them to like, even like pajama pants, like I do not like them when they're like cuffed at the bottom. Like, no thank you. I have one pair 
that but they're like lightweight and they don't bug me but all the rest of them no thank you however if you're a jogger fan these are definitely a win so the 1989 taylor's version charcoal photo t-shirt i loved this i it made me think of like the invisible string one when they did like the one year of folklore collection so i have a shirt similar to this I did not buy it. It has like all four covers on it. I love this so much. I love the simplicity of it, but there were other t-shirts I liked a little more personally for me. And this one, what does the front say? All you had to do was stay? That's what the front says? Wait, why did it never... Now I want this one. That's so cute. And they have like little faint seagulls on it. And then the back, it's it has like the one of her like laying down and it says Taylor Swift 1989, Taylor's version, but it's like distressed into the T. Like it's not, um, I wanna say maybe like overlaid. It's actually stunning. Why didn't I look at the front of this? Like that is so cute that's such like a cute lyric too like to put on there okay but the thing is i know i shouldn't buy too too much in this collection because i'm sure that when 1989 tv comes out like there will be more merch so i'm trying to be careful of what i spend now because later I know I, you know, I'm trying to like budget in my head. This one. The 1989 Taylor's version navy long sleeve. So it's just a long sleeve and it's fitted and it's cropped. I sized up on this one too because I'm obsessed with the baby tee. So I'm hoping this is like just a long sleeve version of that. Um, I love the simplicity of this. It looks like so retro and I love how it's cropped because it really does adhere to 1989's like aesthetic. So... I did buy this one. The 1989 Off-White Photo Tee was an immediate purchase for me. That is my favorite album cover of Taylor of all time. I love like oh, I love the font of 1989 on it, like the classic 1989 font. This was an immediate. Like this was the first thing I was like, "Okay, if I'm getting anything today, it's going to be this." I am so excited to wear this. <laughs> this one made me giggle because the Taylor Swift 1989 ringer tee, I bought her. I loved the 1989 original ringer tee, but for a lot of people, like it, they never fit right. And so I'm hoping that this one fits a little better. Like so many people were like, wait, like, why do I feel like this, like this t-shirt, like the arms were so tight, like on everybody. Um, it, it like all sizes like the arms were like so tight and so people were kind of like hmm I'm not sure about it, but the ringer tee. I love the picture on this I was more than willing and I love like the font. Oh, she's a chef's kiss. I did buy her And it made me giggle buying her I can't lie like I was like Oh my god, like I remember like the ringer tee everybody had during the 1989 era, the original one. And everybody was like, I love this t-shirt, but at the same time, like what's going on with the sleeves? It was kind of just like funny. Um, anyways, the most unique piece that they added was a viewfinder. Now this has like little pictures and it has two discs and it's $20. It's nostalgic, it's unique. I did not buy this, but I might come back to it because I think I love unique merch pieces like that. I think they're so fun. The 1989 Taylor's version blue blanket and it's woven. If you've been a Taylor fan for a long time, you know that Taylor loves a woven blanket. Like she is such a fan of putting out woven blankets. The first one that I ever got was at the Speak Now World Tour. And so that was like one of my very first like things I started to collect in terms of Taylor merch. I'm very tempted to go back and buy this and it just has seagulls on it. It's pretty, it would look beautiful like on a couch, like kind of draped over the side, like in the summer, spring even. 
it just has those colors to it. Then the next one is going to be the corduroy tote bag and it has five seagulls on it which I love how that coincides with it being the fifth album. Like I love that so much. I love the symbolism. It's $40. I'm contemplating her. I love a good tote bag. The hat. The hat. It just says 1989 Taylor's version and it's like a taupe hat and I love a good dad hat. Like I wear my Taylor hats all the time. Like there's things that I can justify like buying because I wear them all the time. Like my Speak Now, my um, my Taylor Swift hat, like uh, there, my 1989 one, the blue one. Uh, if I didn't ha already have a 1989 blue one that dropped last year in that double drop, I probably would have bought this immediately. But I might go back for her. The 1989, the good thing is, this is the core collection, so these are going to stay on the site, but the other ones are going to be like 48 hours, and so. I would rather save my money for the 48 hour ones and then come back later if I want one of these in the core collection. So the next is four coasters and I'm obsessed. They are glass this time. The other ones were rubber for midnights and so I love them. I did not buy them because they're $40 and I couldn't justify $40 on a coaster but I loved them. Then they had patches for $30. I think that's a little pricey for those and I don't use patches that often unless I'm literally like DIYing for Taylor concerts. So I did not, I passed on that, but I love the idea. Then there's the keychain for $25. It has all the different color variants for 1989 and then it just says Taylor Swift. Now this one is convincing because I could put it on my key ring but I didn't purchase it right away. It wasn't like one of my first picks. Again, might go back for her. And then the 1989 Taylor's version cream sunglasses and case. So I love this because it's again, nostalgic to the original 1989 era. And I think it's very special and I am obsessed with them. However, I have prescription glasses and sunglasses, so they'd be like useless to me pretty much, except for like the collection piece. So I did pass on those, but I think they're really cute and so like on point for the aesthetic. So I really, 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 <laughs> underline really loved this collection. I thought it was, a lot for like everybody there's hoodies crewnecks there's fun little merch pieces there's home stuff like i just think that they covered all bases with this and i think it was a great first drop i definitely what did i buy like five things i bought the two crewnecks the long sleeve and then two t-shirts yeah my bank account screaming crying but it's okay i saved for this and yeah, I am obsessed with this collection. I can't wait. To, uh, you know which one's going to get me when they drop like the 1989 Eras collection and it has like all the 1989 tour tailors. That will be the one that gets me the very most because I met Taylor during the 1989 world tour. So the nostalgia is going to be hitting for that one. But I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Let me know what you think of the collection. Let me know if you bought anything. I am very curious and I want to know. So I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video entertained you in some way and I sincerely hope I see you. Yes, you in the next one. Bye guys.